friends, welcome to or back to my channel. But if you've never seen this face before, my name is Shauna and you should definitely subscribe because I post new videos every single week. And this week, we are making my literal dreams come true. Like my actual like life goals, like my purpose of life is coming true today in this video. Obviously, as you read about this video, I, me, Shauna Diaz, I need to stop hitting my boobs, is going to transform and become Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. Little backstory of me if you don't already know, but you probably know because I feel like the whole world knows, I am the biggest Lilo and Stitch fan that has ever walked the face of the earth. Do you see this right here? That's my Funko Pop collection of Lilo and Stitch. I have stuffed animals, I have clothes. I literally named my dog after Stitch. I'm just gonna hold him for the rest of this video because he just means the whole world to me, just like Lilo and Stitch. My mom tells this story to every single soul I've ever met. Um, Lilo and Stitch came out in 2002, June 21st, so I was two years old at the time and we were at a family friend's house. The person who owned the house, whatever, put on Lilo and Stitch for like the children to watch while the parents did parenty stuff. And that was my first time ever watching Lilo and Stitch when I was two years old. And if you've watched the movie, if you haven't watched the movie, literally click off this video. You don't deserve to watch my literal dreams come true. Like a two year old me, who you think two year olds don't even have a concept of like what they're really watching. I literally bawled my eyes out when she was taken away by the social worker and all the parents were like, oh my God, why is this girl, like, why is our kid crying? Like they were so confused until they looked at the TV screen, realized what was happening, realized that I had an emotional connection with this movie and that connection has never broke since. Like I just, <sighs> I literally have a spiritual connection with that movie and like not to get like deep and depressing but like ever since I was a kid I related to Lilo literally so hard. All the other girls my age you know they love the Disney princesses they're all pretty and dolled up and like normalized from society standards and it just never sunk in with me because when I was a kid I got made fun of a lot for being different and for not fitting in and constantly tried to impress people who I thought were my friends but really they just thought I was weird and made fun of me literally like what Myrtle and her little friend group did to Lilo in the movie and in the show um so yeah I always had like an emotional connection to this character because I was literally like this is me what other Disney character that's a girl that's like the main character freaking loves zombies and voodoo dolls and is just weird and has aliens as a pet like I just ugh, okay that was like a really long story but basically I've gotten a couple comments okay maybe like three comments but like they literally meant the whole world to me and they made me cry that like one I either look like Lilo or two the way I yell at Stitch sounds like how Lilo yells at Stitch in the movies you know when she goes like Stitch so I am going to be turning into Lilo from the movie that's basically it our little list here of turning myself into Lilo is one I'm gonna dress like her look like her then we gotta feed Pudge the fish a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because he controls the weather. We're gonna learn how to hula. Fun fact, I actually used to be a hula dancer, but I'll talk about that later. We're gonna learn how to surf, and then we're gonna listen to our king, Elvis Presley. And of course, play with Stitch this whole entire time because it's Lilo and Stitch, not just Lilo and not just Stitch, so you're getting both of us. And I'm sorry that Stitch is not blue. So yeah, let's just get started because this has been a really long intro. So let's go pick the outfit. So Lilo usually wears her iconic red and white dress. I don't have obviously the exact same thing. Then I have this from my aunt. She gave me this when I went to the Philippines last year but it's actually from Dubai and I think it's pretty similar. Not the same pattern but the same color because you know it has that red and white pattern and it's a dress kind of. I think it might be a romper but it's like a pullover. So I'm going to have to wear a shirt underneath and there used to be like a tie string in it but I'll figure that out. Now we are going to change into the outfit. Ta-da! I would say this is a pretty successful outfit. Obviously it's not the exact same as hers but it's a really extremely similar style. So I just used my shoelace belt, you know, adding a little Shauna touch. Now it's time to go make our peanut butter and jelly sandwich to feed Pudge the fish because he controls the weather. So here doing her work. You can just say hi in the background. Hi in the background. Can you guess what I'm doing? You're eating bread. You look like uh, Moana. Okay, no. Lilo? Yes! It's I'm making nice. um, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for Pudge the Fish because he controls the weather. Dad, you want half this sandwich? But which one of you is going to be Pudge? I'm not a fish. Dad, no. ask me why I can't feed Pudge the Fish a tuna sandwich. Why can't you feed the pug with tuna sandwich? <laughs> Not the pug! Not the pug! Pudge the fish! 
Why can't you be the pun with tuna sandwich? Not the butt! His name is pun! Shh. Because do you know what tuna is? Say, what's tuna? What is a tuna? It's fish. If I gave Pudge a tuna fish sandwich, I would be an abomination. I can't give Pudge tuna. Do you know what tuna is? Fish? It's fish! If I gave Pudge tuna, I'd be an abomination. You can have many. I know I'm supposed to feed this to a fish because he controls the weather, but I don't have fish. And none of my parents wanted to be Pudge, so I'm gonna be Pudge. I don't know if you've ever heard the like conspiracy about Pudge the Fish, but the reason Lilo feeds Pudge the Fish a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every Thursday because she believes he controls the weather is because her parents died in like a car crash from like a bad rainstorm. So she thinks that she needs to keep Pudge the Fish happy because he controls the weather. So she wants like good weather all the time so she doesn't lose anyone else. It's kind of really sad and dark and depressing. And as I mentioned, I hula before when I was younger and I actually had a couple like hula birthday parties when I was a kid. So we have a bunch of lays. Before in a video, I didn't know what that was called. So we actually have a bunch of lays. So I don't think we have green ones, but we'll see. Ooh, this blue is really pretty. I think this one will look better. I used to have like the anklet and like the wrist ones, but I don't know where those are. As I mentioned a couple times, I used to do hula performances with my mom and my sister. The routine I'm gonna try and learn is actually the one that I performed before at like this picnic thingy. Um, yeah, it's the intro scene to Lilo and Stitch when the girls are hula-ing and then Lilo comes into the class. I'm just gonna try and learn the choreography and see if I remember like how to hula and I don't have a hula skirt so that's kind of sad. I don't think the one I wore when I was eight years old will fit me. I'm gonna put my lay on and I couldn't find like one of the head ones so I'm just gonna wrap the lay and put it on my head. Here we go. I feel like I look kind of ridiculous, but like I'm kind of excited for this. Oh my god, I look so cute! <laughs> I feel so silly right now. Hip, 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 turn, back, turn. Okay, half turn, half turn, all the way turn. I feel like I'm in karate. Five, six, seven, eight. Hip, hip, turn, turn. One this way. Five, six, seven, eight. Hip, hip. I think I might have nailed it. Let's hope I don't get copyrighted, okay? So cute, what the heck? Okay, I know Stitch isn't in like the beginning scene, but I'm gonna do it with Stitch anyways because he needs to learn how to hula if he's gonna be the real Stitch. Okay, are you ready? It's a big moment. You ready? So now you get the hang of it, you're gonna follow my moves, okay? Okay, now it's your turn, go. Now we have Stitch the hula dog, ta-da! Now I need to learn how to surf. Now, um, I've never surfed before in my life, but I own a skateboard, and I think that's the closest I'm gonna get. All right, so now we are in my backyard. I have a jacket on, because it's freaking cold. Stitch is peeing. Like, I mean, I know the basics. I don't really know how to do anything cool, but we're just gonna try, and also teach Stitch how to surf. <laughs> My dog doesn't want to skateboard. Ah. Stitch! Stitch! But I think that ends our surfing session. Stitch! Quiet! So now we're gonna chill back and do the last thing on our list, which is listen to the king. I only ever listened to Elvis Presley when I was growing up. All my other friends were listening to Kids Bop. I don't even know what kids listen to. But now I have a record player and I've literally been obsessed with records for the longest time. I was either 12 or 13 when I got my first record. And these are two Elvis ones. This one is as recorded at Madison Square Garden. It was the first Elvis vinyl I've ever gotten. And I also got this one which is one of like the gold ones. This one was like a collector's item because it's a gold vinyl. Like it's not just a normal black vinyl and it's so pretty. Literally just look at it. 
Look how cool that is. A yellow vinyl. Oh my god. And if you're wondering, the reason why I got this whole idea from is not just for my comments, but I also made a TikTok. Lilo, we, we don't have time, time for this. Leave me alone to die. Come on, Lilo, the social worker is going to be here any minute. Like, I remade that TikTok and I thought it was really cool. So I was like, what else can I remake from Lilo? And that's how I got this whole video idea. Anyways, I don't want to get copyrighted, but I want to show you my favorite guitar solo to ever exist in music history. And if that gets me copyrighted, it was worth it. So as much as I would love to just listen to Elvis Presley for the remainder of this video, I don't want to get copyrighted. But I thought I would give you guys a little treat and play some of my ukulele. It might not be good. I might cut this part out. Um, I'm going to play some Elvis Presley on the ukulele because Lilo plays the ukulele, Stitch plays the ukulele, and I play the ukulele, kind of. I'm like working on it. Yeah, this is really scary. I've never posted me playing like anywhere, so, okay. That's all. I just wanted to grab Stitch to end this video. To be honest, I don't even know what this video was. I think it was just for myself. Maybe I honestly did not really care about me living my dreams, but you know what? I had fun doing it. So thank you for hanging out with me and watching me become Lilo. But yeah, I don't really know what this video was. It was kind of just an idea that came to mind and I was like, hey, let's do it. If it's a bad idea, then I guess we'll find out when you guys comment down below. Yeah, I don't really know what to say, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.